Welcome to Greenville, South Carolina. For the next couple days, we are working with Visit Greenville to show you guys around this cute little southern city. We've been here a couple times before, just passing through. We've never really gotten a chance to really dig in to find out what's special about Greenville. And first off, coffee. And now we're at Fall Creek Park, which is supposed to be one of the best places in the city. So let's go. You gotta find your people, the ones that make you feel all right. The kind you wanna stay up with all night. You gotta find your people, the ones that make you feel whole. They won't leave your side when you lose control. The ones that don't let you lose your soul. We got a little walk in. This park is awesome, actually. Better than what I was expecting. I saw pictures of it and all, but it's really nice in person and very dog friendly, which is not always a given when you're in maybe the city's nicest part. I mean, truthfully, it's pretty hard to find. It's pretty warm. I think we're thinking some ice cream next. And that's not just a, I think we may go there. That's like a definite, we're already going to get ice cream. I've already researched. I know exactly where we're going, so let's get going. We're definitely going to come back to this park. It exceeded expectations. Let's come back at sunrise tomorrow. Yeah. I think that'd be really pretty. So I think we're going to come back at sunrise. Which is early. So I'm going to down this coffee because I'm about to down some ice cream. <laughs> So went for a walk around the park. It's a little hot, we said let's get ice cream. Ah, it's dripping really fast today. <laughs> We're doing dessert before dinner today. I've got honey lavender and Chris has cookie dough. And yes, I have tried his and mine is delicious. Eat fast, it's good though, 10 of 10. It's never a bad day when ice cream's involved. These people at Claire's are so nice, not just because they serve good ice cream. I feel like anybody that serves ice cream should be happy and nice, but these people are incredibly yeah. nice. They were inviting me back. So Claire's Creamery is a family owned business and it's named after Claire who makes the ice cream, but her whole family runs the business here in Greenville and can't recommend this place enough. So, so nice. So, so this cafe and grocery is right on the trail. So after you're hot and sweaty and you've got your workout done, you can stop here and top it off with a nice breakfast or get your groceries done. Or if you're smarter than us, you bike or run here, get your breakfast, lunch, and then either be done or go back. We did it backwards. Don't do what we did. Do as we say, not as we do. Work out first, then come eat. I was gonna let you guys believe that we worked out first before we ate, but Sarah's so all about being truthful. I love how they just call them Brazilian cheese puffs. If you've never had one of these, they are everywhere in Brazil. Sometimes, sometimes they're this large, but usually they'd be like, you know, that big. But they're made largely with tapioca flour, so it's a little bit different than just normal bread. And then they melt cheese up in it, usually multiple kinds of cheese, and it's good. They were everywhere. You'd have them at breakfast at hotels in Brazil. You'd have them in cafes and dinner, and I mean, they were everywhere. They were just like a staple in Brazil. And we found them in a few random places here in America, including right here in Greenville. You can't go wrong with cheese and bread. So we started the day off with coffee, Brazilian cheese puffs. Oh man, it was upside down, but it was prettier than this. We'll have to- We'll have to rearrange it. Strawberry toast, last but certainly not least. We're splitting all of this. This is an egg and cheese sandwich. You may be saying, wow, you probably spent 45 to $50 on all of this. No, actually it was 20 bucks for all of this food. Two Americanos, one strawberry toast, one breakfast sandwich, and two Brazilian puffs. Bad. That's not bad at all. That's really good. They've got some salt on top of it, so it gives the bread a little salty flavor. But the avocado and cheese and egg, it's a good breakfast sandwich. So this is much prettier when they made it, but it's strawberry toast. It's got ricotta cheese, honey, and strawberries. And it looks 
a mess, but I'm sure it's really good. The bread is like extra crusty, crunchy. And I believe they make their own bread here in house. I saw people walking around with baguettes and bags as they were leaving. So I'm, I think they have a bakery here. We'll check that before we put it in the video. So if I'm leaving this in the video, they have a bakery here. Oh yeah, that is really nice. Okay, so summary. I think if I lived here every Saturday, I would bike the trail when the weather's nice. I'd bike the trail and then come here and get breakfast with friends. I think it'd be so fun. Pretty sure everybody in Greenville probably already does this, but we're on to your secret. This is such a cute grocery store. So not only do they have great food, but they also have really good products inside their store. We were actually just talking about this in our podcast the other day with Liz Fieser. Um, you can go back and listen to the episode if you want, but we were talking about when we travel, rather than going to eat at restaurants, which is great, our favorite things to do is to go, go to a grocery store, a local grocery store, see what's in the area, see what kind of local things you can find. Even though Greenville's not that far from where we're at in Tennessee, it's still fun to see like, what's, what's Greenville love? What do they have that we don't have back home? So if you've never done that, go to a grocery store. We love doing it around the world. Whenever we go somewhere, we love just walking through, down the aisles, seeing the cool snacks, seeing what kind of produce, fruits we don't recognize. And this is very similar. This is a really fun little experience. And it's just, it's so relaxing. And if you have kids, there is a playground for kids. It's, and it is dog friendly on the patio. So highly recommend Swamp Rabbit Cafe and Grocery. So we are going to get a little exercise on the trail. It goes right past the grocery store where we started our day. And I think it's 30 something, I know it's 30 something miles long because just down the street from the cafe where we were walking past, we just came across mile marker 31 and a half. It's a really nice trail. Like you've got avid cyclists on it. The speed limit's only 20 miles per hour. You've got walkers, you've got moms and strollers, dogs, everything. So be careful if you come out here. But I wish we brought our bikes, wish we had. See, doesn't that look fun? I know we started off doing breakfast and we had coffee, but those were only eight ounce cups of coffee. And they were fine, it was great. But I'm in the mood for more coffee. This area where do sell coffee roasters. This, I don't wanna say it's the only coffee roasters in town, but when I wanted to find someone that roast their own coffee and then go to the source. This is what kept coming up. So, Due South is at Hampton Station. Good coffee, we've got an iced latte. It's really good. But in this little area, there's a lot of other little restaurants and tap rooms and I mean, White Duck Taco is from North Carolina. They're from Asheville, we've been there in Asheville and it's good. Good tacos, so you've got tacos. I see craft beer, axe throwing, a little bit of everything happening here. But they got coffee too. About 15 to 20 minutes north of Greenville is this little state park that is this, I don't know, I would call it like a little sanctuary where you can get away. And I mean, Greenville's got the whole downtown park and you know, the, the river there, but people are using that to get back and forth to the city. Like there's a lot of people there, which is great. It's very, very convenient. But if you wanna get away and have a little quiet time, this isn't a bad spot to do that. It's nice because it has dirt trails around a lake. And I think I read that they have like 17 miles of trails here. So if you're a trail runner, you want to get a little bit more of a hike in. Um, it's, there are definitely other people here even during a weekday, but I mean, not so many. There's a couple having a picnic table right now. And then way on the other side of the lake, I saw a dog swimming. But other than that, there's no one else in sight, which is really nice. So like I said, it's a, it's a little oasis. We, we love cities and towns and granted, Greenville's a pretty small town. It's not like a major city or anything, but even in those places, it can start to feel kind of busy and kind of uh, a lot of people. And sometimes you just need that little nature, nature bed. And Paris Mountain State Park is a nice little place to go. But whenever we go to a new city, there's always four things that we try to do. We try to get good food, try to learn a little bit about the history. We like to experience the downtown area, whether that's a major city or a small town. And then four, we like to find somewhere outside of the downtown center that has a nature space. So, you know, Greenville has Fall Creek Parks, which is amazing downtown, and there's lots of little peaceful nooks and crannies in the park. But this has more 
you know, dirt trails and picnic poop. You can hear like water trickling and trees blowing. Like it has more of a nature feel. You hear less noise pollution here and more nature sounds, which is different than the city. So Paris Mountain, for being so close to the city is really pleasant, but we love when cities have a nice, uh, actual outdoor space so close to city limits. You know, some places you have to go an hour, hour and a half at least before you can get anything like this. But sort of the beauty of a mid-sized city versus a major city is you have a lot of stuff pretty close by. perfect out here. I don't want to say it always feels perfect in South Carolina at the end of May, but right now outside in the shade especially, I actually got a little chilly sitting on the bench for a second. Memorial Day is just in a couple days and usually by now like pools are opening in the area and it's really hot. This is a little bit unseasonably cool I'd say, but I'm not complaining. It feels really nice. It's not too humid yet. There's a breeze going sitting in the shade. It feels awesome. I love what they've done. They've taken all these shipping containers and they've made them into restaurants. And now it's this whole place where you can eat, chill out, sit. Has a really, really cool, nice vibe to it. And on a perfect, hot, summer South Carolina day, acai sounds really good. Oh, oh really talk in there because it was a little bit loud a lot of music playing it was fun not over overbearingly loud so that place is called gather gvl or greenville i'm not sure do people say gvl instead of greenville but it means greenville gvl anyway the place has several different restaurants i think it's 13 different vendors so you can have beer you have lobster you have grilled cheese philly cheesesteak i think acai they have a lot of different options we were feeling acai because today's sort of been like an active morning we've been down the back we've done a little hiking did a little bit of a walk um, and we just kind of wanted something lighter after a big breakfast. So acai hit the spot, it's warming up outside. That was fun. I think I love food halls like that, or it's not really a food hall, I don't know what you call it, but it's like shipping containers and a little courtyard. I like places like that because it's a different take on a food court. It's great for if you're with a group of people or you have kids and everybody wants a little bit of something different. It's a place to go. My favorite place to be is right here. Not thinking about what brings me down. Yeah. These people have won a lot of awards. SBH barbecue and from the outside it's pretty unassuming it's in a small little strip center there's a couple other people in this one little building people who own this place have won so many awards most recently they were national barbecue champions in Kansas City in 2020 so the barbecue is good is what we're saying <laughs> I haven't had barbecue in so long being from Tennessee the Carolinas both have like their competitive side, like they do different things. The Tennessee has their own, the Kansas City has their own, and then Texas has their own. Everybody has their own style. So I'm used to Tennessee being from Tennessee, but I like Carolina barbecue. And today we're going for, we got a little bit of pork and a little bit of brisket. It looks good. I actually know it tastes good. A little piece fell off the sandwich and I ate it. And the pork's very nice. <laughs> so if you're a vegetarian, I'm sorry, just for this one. We're not vegetarian. We don't eat a lot of meat, but every now and then, a good pork sandwich sounds really good. Sorry. <laughs> I always love when I tell Chris, just go order, just go to order, surprise me. Like I'm fine with whatever. And I always like to see what he gets. So he got a pork sandwich. He got a side of mac and cheese and a side of, it looks like collard greens. And then he got a, is this a brisket grilled cheese? Brisket. They called it a sandwich. I think that's a grilled cheese. I am not complaining. This is reason like cheese. I would do a whole tour of Wisconsin for you guys if it involved cheese. But this, this looks good. Now I'm ready to eat, so go get the barbecue sauce, like you said. <laughs> that is good brisket. I know Texas people are gonna say, mm-mm, best brisket in Texas. 
Y'all can fight me on this. I've been to Texas and I've had brisket several times in Texas. And truthfully, every time I leave Texas, I'm like, not really a brisket fan. This is making me a brisket fan. Just one bite in. That is really good. That's good barbecue. They have three big dispensers of sauce inside. I got the house sauce and we got the sweet sauce. The house sauce has just a little kick, not a lot, a little kick and it's very good. Pairs with the, it pairs with the pork very nicely. So if you're a barbecue connoisseur, this place is legit. What's the third sauce? The third sauce was, oh, the third sauce was uh, a mustard vinegar base. I'm not very a, Carolina. Yeah, that's very Carolina. I'm not a huge fan of the vinegar based, but the house sauce here. You win. I'll be really honest here. I hate food vlogging. Partially because I hate watching the video back and watching myself just eat on camera. It disgusts me. No one should have to watch this. The other reason I don't love filming food is because I really just want to eat it and I don't want to talk about it. I just want to sit here in peace and enjoy what I have. And then Chris whips out the camera. And anytime I say something, he's like, hold on, say that again. So what I just said was, the sweet sauce is really good. I've never had a sweet sauce on pork before, any sort of meat, but it works. We actually came here as soon as we got to Greenville two days ago and then we decided to end our time in Greenville at Falls Park again because this is sort of, it feels like the centerpiece of the city. I feel like when I was looking at pictures of Greenville to do a little research, I kept seeing pictures of Falls Park and for good reason. I will say, more geese than I expected. They sound so good. I will say the park is bigger and more impressive in person. I'm not just saying that, it really is. The falls are larger than what I expected. The, I mean, there's lots of little trails to the woods. It's just, it's very pleasant and incredibly clean. Now, Greenville, I didn't really, I didn't have a ton of expectations. I knew that people compared it a lot to our hometown, Chattanooga, but I didn't really know why, but I can see it now because, you know, they're it's about the same size. They're both very Southern, climate's the same. Um, they. Both have a river going through them, very different rivers. This is just really nicely done. It's so well taken care of. I just, I'm very impressed by downtown Greenville that way. For this park being downtown, it's very clean. And I'm very surprised by that. Not because I'm not, not because I thought it was gonna be littered. It's just, this park is nestled right in downtown Greenville. And you know, things happen. It's in this city. This is pleasantly kept up and very nice and it feels like everybody in the city uses it. It feels like it's not just here as this decoration, but it, it's used. People come here and they hang out and it's integral to who Greenville is, the city. Anyway, we're gonna wrap up our time here, probably grab some coffee and then we have to head out of town, but thank you Greenville, visit Greenville for having us. This was a lot of fun and a nice little weekend escape away from Chattanooga. forgot to mention that the big bridge that's kind of iconic in Greenville that you just saw going over the falls, it's called the Liberty Bridge. And it's actually closed over here because they're kind of doing a little bit of maintenance on it. So unfortunately we couldn't actually walk across it, but I do want to know that there's something unique about it. And it is the only single suspension bridge in the USA. Kind of cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. I love a good bakery. We don't do it very often, but we saw this place called The Commons. And I'm glad we came by here because there's a great kids park. We don't have kids, but awesome kids park. The trail goes right by here again. I think it's the same one. If it's not, we'll cut this out. It's another one of those places that if you're biking or running or out on a Saturday with the family, you can stop here, grab lunch, beer, whatever you guys want, and then get something to eat. So 
I'm excited. This place is called uh, Bake Room. Yeah, I was right, Bake Room. We crust got two things. We got a strawberry, what did you say this was? Strawberry lemon pastry. Strawberry lemon pastry. And this is a raspberry turnover. It looks good. It smelled good. When Chris opened the door to go in and get it, I could smell the baked goods like wafting out. <laughs> These people in Greenville know that if you exercise, you want to eat. So that's why this is located perfectly on the trail. It's like a food hall. They have all sorts of different types of food here, but we stopped because we wanted pastries and coffee. And we're about to hit the road. All right, see you guys. For behind the scenes and extra content, you can head on over to our Patreon community. Otherwise, be sure to follow on Instagram or like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.